All right. We are nearing completion of our dummy round. For this video, we need our uh, taper crimp die out of our Dillon die box. So we'll go ahead and open it. And there you'll find your taper crimp. Okay. So, first off, keep your, your dies clean, especially your taper crimp. Okay. Um, your, your lock ring, make sure it's, you know, threaded upwards, you know, to the uppermost portions of those threads. And then we're going to come over here into position four of our Dillon 550 and just get that threaded into there like that. Now, um, on our cartridge case, we're going to, uh, crimp this dummy round. There's one or two ways we can do this. Um, okay. We can either do it by taking a measurement right there off the edge of that mouth, which we are 0 0.247. Okay. Or we can do it by a visual check and what I mean by that is right now when we're looking at this cartridge case the edge of that mouth you'll see there's there's no crimp there so I just uh, run the die down just until I see that crimp and, and then if you want to measure it to see how far down you're actually crimping it you can okay so um, now sometimes with um, cases that are previously fired it, it because they have um, crimp marks from uh, the previous loading it's kind of hard to tell um, you know how much crimp you're putting on it so then you might want to definitely measure it with the uh, uh, calipers if need be so I put my dummy around into uh, position three I'm going to bring it around there just like that and I'm going to run it up into position four just up underneath our taper crimp die. So now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to begin threading this die down. Now, do you see how loose that die is? Um, the reason that we've zoomed in closer is I want you to watch the die. When you read instructions on setting a uh, crimp die up and the instructions tell you, you know, for a crimp, turn it a quarter for a um, light crimp, half or a heavy. Well, it's like, well, when do you start counting the quarter or the half, right? You always, this is how I do it on all my dies when I crimp. See, I'm touching right there. Now, that die, it's just coming into contact with the edge of the mouth of that cartridge case, right where we were measuring with the calipers. So now I'm going to drop the platform. And I'm going to turn the die like a sixth of a turn. Then I'm going to run the case back into it, and I'm going to feel to see if that die has any movement. I can feel a little bit of movement, not much. So now I'm going to drop the cartridge case and I'm just going to turn this thing like just, just a little, right to there. So now I have no movement in that die. So what I can begin doing is I'm going to turn it a little more and now I'm going to check and I'm just going to begin looking for a crimp ring on our, our cartridge case, all right? Okay. 
You see that ring? We're just coming into that. All right. So if I zero these, I'm still 0 0.247. All right. So now I can just do this. Look at that. That's it. That's that's all the further I need to go. Um, what's going to happen if if you go any more than that? You're going to put more wear on the mouth of that case. Um, if you go much tighter than that, you can actually spring the neck tension. Just mess all the neck tension up on that case. Okay. So now that we know we've got that die exactly where we want it going to come up like that. Now you see our die, that that dummy round is making that die stand perfectly vertical. So now I can run my die lock ring down, take my handy Dillon wrench out of my handy tool caddy, snug that down, and now um, I want to make something um, Kind of, kind of clear. How's that? Kind of clear. No, perfectly clear. You see how minimal the adjustment is on that crimp, crimp die. That's why when you are trimming your rifle cases, you want them as close as you can get them. Because if this was, you know, if you've set this up for this case and then you run a case through here, it's ten thousandths taller or ten thousandths shorter. Now you're not going to get the amount of crimp you want. Remember, internal um, case pressures. That's that's huge to um, accuracy. So the better job we do on trimming and the better job we do on crimping, the more consistent our internal um, case pressures are going to be. Okay. So there we go. All right. So now. We have our dummy round complete, and what we want to do is we take our case gauge, make sure your case gauge is clean, and make sure that we have proper fit, okay? This being a new uh, case, you know, set to somewhere around a Sammy Min. It's going to chamber just fine. So now what do you say we do this? On the next video, let's take this resize die and let's set it up so we can size a previously fired cartridge case. Remember, we neck sized this case only. But now we got to adjust this full length die down just a little more so that we have um, proper uh, dimensions. Okay, there we go. Guys and gals, that's the end of this video. God bless. We'll see you on the next.